Two teams that know each other well. We'll see the Chicago Cubs as they play against the Houston Astros. It's Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And live in Houston, a glimpse of that famous train here at Minute Maid Park. It's a Central Division matchup from the National League with the Houston Astros on the field. Gary Thorne, John Crutch, Steve Phillips, 2K Major League Baseball. Houston starter, let's take a look who's going to be on the mound. As he gets into this Cub lineup, Steve, what are we talking about strategy-wise? Well, against a lineup like this, even though you've got a good right-hander on the mound, he's got a chance to have some damage done. He has to believe in damage control. Give up one run, but don't give up a crooked number. Now we'll take a look at the Cubs offense. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, a guy that can do it on both sides of the ball, Aramis Ramirez, a great defender at third base, but also a guy who can supply a lot of pop in the middle of the lineup. Look for him to try to go deep today. And we've got Sandberg batting. And the Cubs won last night. That series was split going into game three, so they pulled ahead going two and one against the Brewers in Milwaukee. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Big runs put up, double digits. Well, when the dam burst open, the hitters just kept pouring it on, and that's what happened in that one. Here it comes. 0-1 pitch, a fastball, swung on and missed, 0-2. And, and that one gets popped way up behind the plate. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Swing and a ball line softly down the line in right. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. Here's a look at how the Strohs will match up defensively. A chance here to check out how the Cubs ranked in the National League last year. Sixth in hits, eighth in batting average, and they were in the top ten in team batting average with runners in scoring position, getting a lot of clutch base hits, and that's a great stat for a team that wants to win ball games. Runner on first. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And he lays off one, low, 1-0. One Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Strike Swung one. on and missed, and it's 1-1. One one. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. The 2 1 pitch. Lined up the middle. There's one. Back to first. Not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. It's Sosa at the plate. Runner at first with one down. Ball. Slider just misses one and all. Ball. Catcher can't control it. Gets away from him. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You've got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Strike one! He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike, two and one. Well, the Cubs were looking to get back on top in 2010 after winning back-to-back -back National League Central titles, but just couldn't get it done. A major struggle for them in every aspect of the game. He's ready now, the 2-1. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Out number two. Runner on his way to third. 
Well, it was a real disappointment last year, Steve, for the Cubs. I mean, they, they really took a slide backwards. Well, they did. You know, the Pirates beat up on them. They went 5-10 and 10 against the Pittsburgh Pirates, one of the worst teams in the game. And the Cincinnati Reds, the renewed and improved Cincinnati Reds, they, the Reds won 12 out of 16 games against the Cubs. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. The pitch. That swung on and flied to right. That'll do it as they put that one away. They pick up no runs on a hit, stranding a man at third base. And the Astros getting ready to start this one off. Starting pitcher for the Cubs, here he is. Steve, what's he got in mind now as he faces Houston? This lineup should not be much of a... Swung on, liner to right. They take care of that one. We've got a moment to take a look at that lineup for the Astros. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, a guy that's been a run producer his entire career, and that's Lance Berkman. And I tell you, watching play makes it so difficult because of the fact that he's a switch hitter. Better left-handed hitter than right-handed hitter. A lot more power from the left side. So look for the manager to try to mix and match in this game. If he comes up in a key situation, make him hit right-handed. Base is empty with one away. And here's the delivery. Santo. In time for the out. Let's take a quick look as the uh, Cubs on the field will line up like this. Our second look at his club defensively. The thing to remember is they're ranked in the bottom five for the total number of errors committed. That's a lot of mistakes and a lot of extra base runners and bases that they've given up. Well, look here, last year of the National League and where the Houston Astros ended up ranking. Fifth in stolen bases, 12th in batting average with runners in scoring position. And the triples numbers, well, they weren't quite what the numbers you'd, you'd want for a team. And it really shows the fact they didn't have the kind of speed necessary to take that extra base. Two outs, bases empty. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. and oh. And a loss in the last outing for the Astros. And with that loss, they end up going one for three in the series against the Marlins. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 pitch, a sinker in there, 1-1. Now well, that last one, they just could not hold on. Turned out they had their chances, though. Well, they certainly did have their chances, but losing late like that, it just seemed like it was a concentration issue. Up the middle. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Well, after two outs, they finally got a man on board right here in this inning. So let's see if they can get back-to-back -back hits going and maybe get some momentum. On the base pass, number two in steals in the ball club. The pitch. Ball. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. He's the guy on this team that they go to. If they need the stolen base, he's the man. The 1-0 now. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. And here's a sinker for a called strike. Two and one. Hitting 250 lifetime against the Cubs. Two one pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That's caught. Side is retired. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Nobody on the board yet here in Houston. Fresh air with the uh, open roof here at Minute Maid Park. A beautiful evening. Ball. And that runs high, 1-0. Oh. Now the 1-0 oh pitch. Now swinging a shot toward second. He's out. And he throws on to first for the out. What a way. And here's.
is Aramis Ramirez. And if Ramos Ramirez is going to turn around his 2011 season, he has to get off to a great start. Really struggled early in the 2010 season and set the tone for the entire year. Nobody on base, one away. Oh. First pitch fastball misses badly that time, 1-0. Uh, what John was talking about, guys, with players who take a while to get the engine revved up. Ramirez hit 152 in April and 173 in May. Yeah, he's better than that. I think that the health was shot back to first. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with the single. It rolls all the way to the wall. Still settling into the season. Here's who the Astros will be facing. Wednesday, they will wrap up this Chicago series. Then they'll have home field advantage as they take on the Padres and the bat of Adrian Gonzalez. That series bound to be competitive. That gets underway Thursday evening. Then they'll kick off a road series with the New York Mets, a team that will definitely give them a competitive series. It's going to be Banks. Ramirez takes his lead at first. Pitch on the way. Right. Cut on and missed as he was loading up. 0 1. Here's the pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And it's Billy Williams. Well, he's got to have some confidence in this one. Three hits in the game last night. Must be seeing the ball well. One out with runners at first and second. Here's one, hit very well, deep. Now it's two down. With that, they'll hold the runners at first and second. Keep your MLB fix going this Wednesday. It'll be Aramis Ramirez and the Chicago Cubs as they find themselves at Minute Maid Park playing the Astros. That one's set for an 8 o'clock start. Chance gets a turn here. Two down. Runners at first and second. On the way. Oh. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Oh. Well, you watch how the hitter reacted to that. He had thoughts about chasing that pitch, but at the last second decided to lay off of it. The 1-0 -oh pitch. Smash towards the middle. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. No runs with a couple of hits and two left on. Shut out baseball here in Houston. Gonzalez at the plate. He'll get things started here in the home half of the second. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. I threw that one exactly where he wanted it, down and in. Pitch on the way. Wilson will field as he hauls it in. In the box now, number five spot. And you got to love the young talent in his rookie year. One out, nobody on. That swung on and a liner here. Two down. Here's what's uh, next for the Cubs. This Houston series ending on Wednesday. And they head for a series against the Rockies on the road against Todd Helton in that lineup. That should be a great series. They really match up well. That'll be a three-game series. Then they'll get a homestand started against the Padres. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games.
Base is empty and two down. A shot up the middle. That looks like a single. Well, you know the pitcher was hoping to get that three up, three down inning. A little bit of a breather inning, but that single will extend this one a bit here. Osmus at the plate. A runner on first with two outs. Ball! Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, making bring it down to give yourself a chance. Here's the 1-0. Let's the 1-0 pitch go by, 1-1. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. One one delivery, a fastball taken for a strike, one and two. Well, he's got a good four seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. The one two on its way. Oh! Taps this one foul to the right. And he gets under that one. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Well, anytime you're behind in the count, you just want to try to spread out and try to put the ball in play. And that's what he did right there. He didn't put it in play, though, but he kept it foul to keep the at-bat alive. Good offensive chance here. Right, he takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it, get a good part of the bat on the ball, and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. Two men on and two men out. Ball. That one sails high for a ball, 1-0. Pazos, and now the 1-0. Going to bite on that pitch that was away. Evens the count at one. This is how you get the routine ground balls. You pound that sinker down and away, trying to get the hitter to roll over his hands and pound it into the ground. Now the 1-1 pitch. Sinker that time misses. 2-1. And, and when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Here's the 2-1. That one's drilled to short. He's Throws to first side is retired. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. Nobody on the board yet here in Houston. And we've got Sandberg batting. He'll get things going here in the third. First pitch. First pitch, a slider outside, 1-0. and This is right there for his strike, 1-1. One and one. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. Now Osma sets the target. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Got him! One away. Now he helped him right there with two strikes. He gets the slider, but he chases it out of the zone for strike three. And Santos is batting. Lined out last time up.
Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way. Great Fastball ball. in there for a called strike. Well, the pitcher gets away with one right here. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Batter just let it go by. The pitch. Strike called two. strike below the waist, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. And he swings and hits this one foul. Ball. Ball. Good slider that time. Rule the ball. One and two. Ground ball up the middle. Biggio. And he throws the first in time. Out number two. It's Sosa at the plate. 0 for 1 thus far. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. The 1-0 oh now. Strike and he takes a strike on that fastball, 1-1. One, one. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, 2 and 1. The 2-1 two, pitch. On the ground to second. Biggio. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. Still a scoreless game at Minute Maid Park. Biggio is the batter now. He'll get us going here in the home half of the third. Here's the pitch. Santo. And his throw gets him. One away. Well, not a bad thought trying to get something started getting on base to start some sort of a rally, put some pressure on the defense, but didn't work out that way. And it rolls around to the top again. Ground out victim last time through. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Bagwell at the plate now. Had a base hit his last time up. Base is empty and two down. And here's the first one. And that's in there at the letters for a strike. A strike or no strike, he's asking for trouble up there. It's that breaker throw in the second pitch to him. Strike two. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. The one-two pitch. Wouldn't offer it the curveball. Takes the count even at two. A 
A smash to first, and it gets through. Great swing today. Now two hits. That will bring up Lance Berkman. Well, with two outs and no one on base, chances of scoring a run seem pretty scarce, but they get that two-out hit. Now they have some life. Flew out last time. Two outs and a man on first. First one to Bergman. Here's the pitch. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. Here's the pitch. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. He had a whopping season, 343 last year against the Cubs. And now that's a ball. Lance Berkman's going to be looking for a right to swing here. A lot of managers are hesitant to turn their guys loose 3-0, and but I say let it fly. This might be the best pitch he sees in the hole at bat. And that one's going to miss. That'll be ball four. He'll take first base. Now that base on ball doesn't help anything for this pitcher here. He threw that one off the plate, maybe guessing that the guy had a green light 3-0, but he's got to find the strike zone again. Gonzalez at the plate. 0 for 1 thus far. Two down. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. A moment here for Houston if they can execute. So he feel playing back in this situation. A well-hit ball just getting by him for a base hit. Up now their rookie third baseman. And he'll be swinging with the bases loaded. Uh, Gary, they got a big opportunity now to take the lead in this situation. Bases are loaded with two down. And here's the first one. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. And that will retire the side. Caught by Williams. Well, they do load the bases on two hits, but can't push across any runs. Nobody on the board yet here in Houston. It's going to be Wilson now. He'll dig in, start of the fourth inning. And the first pitch. That's too high for a ball. 1-0. Oh. Well, oh, Gary, into the fourth inning right here now. They, they've gotten three hits in this one, so they've had a few base runners, but they haven't been able to lump them together to be able to generate any runs so far. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. One away now. Well, they followed the advanced scouting reports to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. Number two spot in the lineup up again. Grounded out his last time up. One out, base is empty. And the first pitch. Swing and a shot to third. Throw to first, gets him in there at two down. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And Aramis Ramirez stands in. Two down. A big contribution offensively for him last night, driving in three runs. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. Strike two, and Ramirez will be a contact hitter now. The pitcher showing that he can effectively throw strikes on the inside part of the plate. The hitter now has to make an adjustment, possibly opening up for that pitch next time. You're Fastball out. swung out and missed, and the side's retired. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. The Cubs still looking for that offense.
And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Here's the first pitch. There is a swing and a liner. And that one is in there. His second hit today. They fire him. A look at the teams who recorded the most steals from last season. The Mets, number one. Second, the Padres. The Nationals, third. Phillies, fourth. It's the Astros, number five. Well, most teams have one guy who can steal bases. This team has a bunch of guys who can run. Last year, one of the top teams in the league at stealing bases. And you think, well, we got one base stealer out. Well, as soon as he gets out, here comes another. Seems like every time someone's on base, they have the ability to steal bases. Way too much pressure for the opposition. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. Well, climbing the ladder with that four-seam fastball, trying to get the hitter to elevate his eyes. He gets the strike on it, and the hitter doesn't pull the trigger. Hit in the air to center field. One away. There's shortstop in the box. He bounced out his last time. One down, runner at first. Here's the pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. He deals. Swing, hot shot. Up with it now. One. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. You want to make sure you at least get an out in this situation, but. The runner is able to advance now into scoring position. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch on the way. Sinker just missed. One and all. And he looks at a sinker in there. One and one. Uh, it's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. Oh. Missed with the fastball outside. Two and one. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Now the 2-1 pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's 3-1. and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on-deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to 3-1 and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. And here's the delivery. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and that's through a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. Six slide up at the plate again. Grounded out his last time through. Two men on, two men out. First pitch, here it comes. Ball. And they throw wide to start the at-bat. They may be uh, wanting to put him on. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Nobody on the board yet here in Houston. It's going to be Banks. He'll get us started here in the fifth. Now Osma sets up. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup. And when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. He delivers. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0-2. 
And this is where you want to go with the breaking ball, to the outside corner. Paint the black, get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. The pitch. Foul. Fouled off. This one foul back. Oh, when a pitcher throws a pitch like that, you expect to get the strikeout. Great piece of hitting defensively to keep this at bat alive. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out, one away. Well, KK is going to show us the four seam fastball here. Two straight fastballs, he still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And it's Billy Williams. Base is empty with one away. And Williams settles in. Here's the delivery. Fastball misses away, 1-0. Oh. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 oh. oh, is a fastball that runs away, 2-0. Oh. And he misses up and away. Three balls now. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. Here it comes. At him swinging 3-0, but he misses 3-1. Here's the 3-1 pitch. This ball will give four. him a base runner as that pitch misses. Ball four. I don't think he meant to do that. At first base was open. I think he's willing to live with it. But I think he wanted to try to get this guy out. Chance in the box now. Look okay, with that walk, they put the go-ahead run on base with one out in this inning. You've got to be careful right here. Try to get a double play ball. One out man on first. And here's the delivery. Strike he swings one. on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. And Steve, uh, you wonder here uh, what he was thinking. Maybe a little too fine just because he had an opportunity to be ahead. Well, that's what it was, trying to be a little too perfect on the corners. Be aggressive, work ahead oh. on the count, but keep it in the ballpark. He swings, hits a ball to right field. That's the second out of the inning. And we've got Sandberg batting. A terrific talent for this team. Runner on first, two away. Here's the first pitch. Oh. He's off that one outside. 1-0. Yeah. Right. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. Oh, that's a great pitch right there. Four-seam fastball. The problem is you lay it right down the middle. You're running the risk. He could hit it out of the park. That's taken low for a ball, two and one. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. The pitch. Strike two. Two one pitch, slider, swung on and missed, two and two. Swung on, that is hit. Ooh, look out off the pitcher, bounds away. Richard. 
Not even close with that throw, and he's on at first. And they won't be able to get him. Everybody's safe. That's a great situation for some offense. Two men on and two men out. First pitch to him. Swung on and fouled away. Foul. Here's the pitch. There's a bullet towards third. That one is in there. That should score Williams. And Williams will score. Well, a big double right there. He providing the offense, too, with the run-driven home as he hit that ball where they ain't. It's Sosa at the plate. Steve, really good vibes here. Hitting is contagious, and when you do it late in a ball game and get a lead as they have, it's great stuff. Here we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up to get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? Slider just misses one and all. Steve, exactly right. You gotta believe what they're thinking about is put away time now. Well, that's right. It's not just about the offense, it's gonna be about their pitching as well. They're gonna win as a team or lose as a team. Let's see if they can win as a team. Inside with the fastball, two and oh. Well, this lineup really making them work in this inning deeper into the game. And this is where you're a little bit fatigued. And, boy, throwing up over 20 pitches in an inning is tough. Strike Fastball one. called strike two and one. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball on the outside corner. Come set. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Big swing and a miss as he put all he had into that one, but he takes the count to 2-2. Two -two. He delivers. Foul. Fouled away. Missed inside with a fastball. The count runs full. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. The 3-2 pitch. Slider low in the dirt. Good block there by the catcher. That misses ball four. So that's going to set up a force at any base now with two outs. It's going to be Wilson now. And when you got the bases loaded like this, this is the opportunity you look for in a game. It may not come again. Well, when you have a lead, you want to keep adding to it. A big opportunity here to spread the margin. Two outs. Bases loaded. And here's the first one. First pitch. Fastball. 0-1. Oh, Gary, one run in in this inning already in his second walk right there. You have to think that this is starting to unravel him. Here it comes. 0-1 oh, is a fastball inside. That'll even the count at one. And Steve, with the walks uh, we are seeing in this inning, question of control or focus? Well, I tell you what, it may be both. I mean, right now, he's got to bring it back over the plate. He needs his catcher to get him back into the strike zone. And he looks at a fastball in there, and it's one and two now. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. One-two pitch coming. Two and fastball two. just about had him, and it's a two-two count. Well, a little message pitch right there, up and in in the strike zone. And I think this hitter will think twice about diving out over the plate after that pitch. Struck him out, and he works out a big trouble, limited damage. Quite a game being thrown by these pitchers. Finally, someone able to plate one. Chicago has the lead, one to nothing. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead.
Up now, two for two in the game. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled off. Wow. Here's the pitch. Takes one off the plate to even the count at one. Oh. And he watches that one sail high. Ball two. That misses outside. We go to 3-1. Well, even though you're 3-1 in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it. Big swing on this one. Sends a long, high drive. Deep to right field. He's got it. What a play. One out, Lance Berkman will stand in. A disappointing season in 2009 for Lance Berkman. Let's see what can happen this year because he has the potential to be an all-star, but he has to turn it around quick. Oh. He deals. Sinker misses badly, 1-0. You know, John Burton struggled to hit for power, and the trade to the Yankees didn't help because he wasn't playing every day. He wasn't playing every day, and I really do think that he's lost his stroke a little bit. He just doesn't have that bat coming through the zone nearly like I've seen in the past. Can't make contact on that fastball. One and two. He strikes him out. He catches Lance Berkman watching. Well, he wants to bounce his curveball in the dirt and get the hitter to chase it out of the zone. He leaves it up high, but he gets away with it. Gonzalez at the plate. One for two in the ballgame. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. Oh, Off the plate, low, 1-0. Delivery is a fastball in there. 101. Here's the 1 1. And in there, he's two for three today. So the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. Up again now, the number five spot. Last time up, flew out. A runner on first with two outs. The first pitch. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. And here's the delivery. Hit hard on the ground to short. Banks. Easily to the bag. They didn't make a play. That one ate him up. Number nine spot at the plate again. He singled in his last at bat.
Two down. Runners at first and second. The pitch. Oh. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. and Ready with a 1-0. Oh. Lost the grip on that sinker, and it's 2-0. Side with a sinker, 3 and 0. What a great spot to put that pitch if you can get the guy to chase. Spins, checks him at second. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Misses ball four. The run that could tie it moves over to third. Tries to get the ground ball with the sinker ball, but he drops it out of the zone. And now, you know what? Base is loaded here. What a jam. Osmus at the plate. And this is what they've been working for in this ball game. Golden opportunity here. Base it. We've got a whole new game. You don't know how many of these opportunities you're going to get. You have to capitalize when you do. I think he's up to it. This is a clutch hit situation. First pitch. First pitch is a sinker too low, 1-0. Oh. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. The pitch. That catches the inside part of the plate, 1-1. One one. Well, this late in the ball game, up over 20 pitches in this inning alone, and it makes you wonder how much longer they can keep him in this ball game. Taking it right down the middle for a strike, one and two. The one two on its way. Ball. Breaking ball misses for a two two. Swung on line to right center field. That looks like a single. And that second runner is on his way. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. He scores, counted, and no longer tied. And he's aboard. And got there with a two-run single. So a look now at the win expectancy graph and what those two RBIs have done for their chances. Because the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Number three slot up again here. Theo, I think from a manager's perspective, he's got to be all smiles over there with this offense producing at this point of the game. I'll tell you what, Gary, we're seeing a solid, consistent, professional approach from these hitters, and it's paying off because they now have the lead. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0 and 1. Consistency matters. Don't give up at bats, and he didn't. Uh, that's right. Consistency is the difference between the good teams and the bad teams. Let's see if the consistency continues. Plays off the curveball. Good pitch, though. One and one. They went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. A smash towards the hole. Sandberg throws on to first in time to retire the side. They pick up two runs on two hits and leave a couple on base. Houston takes this new lead into the next half inning. And the number seven batter in the box. 0 for 2 thus far. On the way. Fastball in there. 0 and 1. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four seam fastball. That hurts. Pitch on the way. Ball. Doesn't get the call on the slider. 1 and 1. Ball. 
Hit hard to second. Biggio throw one to first in time went away. That's some kind of play right there to be able to get to the ball quickly, transfer it to your throwing hand, and rifle it over to first base to get the runner. Nice play. One away as Aramis Ramirez gets up. Look at the season average for him last year. 207 against the Astros at Minute Maid Park. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Fastball taken high. 1-0. Here's the 1-0. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by. 1-1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. 1-1 one, one on the way. Missed with the fastball outside. 2-1. and one. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. Ramirez will foul oh. that one away. That swung on and flied to right. The catch, and he has it for the second out. It's going to be Banks. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the pitch. First pitch inside with a fastball. Ball one. Fastball swung on. Couldn't connect. 1-1. One one. Boy, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. One-one one pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch is a circle change. That hits the target. One and two. But Gary, awfully tough to read this pitch out of his hand. He has great deception. Makes it look like a fastball. It just comes out so much slower. That pitch misses low, two and two now. Good spot there, just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase, he wouldn't go for it. Oh. Cutter just about frozen, but it's full now. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Three up, three down this half inning. Astros still leading. Biggio gets a shot here. He'll lead off the bottom half of the sixth. Now the first pitch. Fastball misses away. 1-0. The pitch. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 -oh pitch. The catch. And he puts it away. Out number one. 
And the number eight spot rolls around. He'll be seeking his first hit right here. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Strike Chases one. that first pitch. Starts off with a strike. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. Strike Here's two. the pitch. Sinker called strike. Now 0-2. And he lays off that one outside, one and two. We started the curveball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. Hit up the middle. My, off the pitcher. Throws the first. He's retired. That's two down. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. Bagwell settling in. He flew out his last time up. Bagwell settles in. Two for three thus far. Base is empty and two down. The first pitch. Line towards second. Sandberg. Throws on to first. Side is retired. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Houston two. The Cubs one. It's Billy Williams. Here's the delivery. It's fouled away. Ball. Oh. Missed badly with a the fastball there. One and one. Uh, down by one. Nobody out here in the seventh inning. You want to try to get somebody on base and and get a little bit of a rally because within one, you want to be able to time it and then maybe take the lead. So play for a big inning right here. The 1-1. One, one. He swings down and really hit that. They take care of that one. Chance is the batter. Flew out last time. One out, base is empty. And the first pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That's two gone. And we've got Sandberg batting. Base hit his last time. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way. Strike and he offers at the circle change and misses 0-1. Well, this guy features an outstanding circle change up, Gary. Very little rotation on the pitch. He makes it look like a fastball with his arm speed, but the velocity is much less. Hit on the ground towards second. Throws to first in time. That's three down. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Houston maintaining their lead. Lance Berkman, he'll be leading it off. Here's the pitch. Lined right at the second baseman. So Berkman is retired.
Gonzalez at the plate. Single and scored his last time around. Base is empty, one out. First pitch. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Better to go after the fastball when a guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. Here's the pitch. Gets the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. And he pops it up. Should have room back there. Good oh. effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. You're Swing and a miss on the fastball. Second out in the inning. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you in K-Cam. Get a better look. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought uh, the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 101. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a swing and a smash. Wilson will field. And that one's put away to retire the side. And they're held in check here in this happening. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. Santos is batting. He's going to get us started. Eighth inning. First pitch to him. Oh. Cutter just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, you go to the eighth inning right here, and I've seen the game getting much shorter here. Two innings left in this one, and you've got the one-run lead, but you have to go out there and try to get something going and force them to put the ball in play. Oh, Do dude. not give free passes. Do not let them get on base easily. Circle change, just misses. He runs it to 3-0. Well, the pitcher comes right out on the mound after his team hits, and the first thing he does is go 3-0 to the leadoff hitter. It can be very demoralizing if he doesn't get him out. Strike Lays one. off 3-0, and and it's on the outside corner for a strike. A pretty good pitch to hit right there. He takes it for a strike. Clearly, he didn't have the green light. He delivers. Oh, that had him fooled, and it's 3-2 and two now. This is why changing speeds is so important for a pitcher. You get the hitter off balance even more effective when it's down in the zone. Now the 3-2 pitch. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. One away. It's Sosa at the plate. Drew will walk his last time. Nobody on base. One away. And the first pitch. A swing and a ball hit high and deep. Down the line and right. Gone a home run. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. There is a graph that shows us what that solo home run means for their chances on the WPA graph. 
Oh, you want to talk about coming through for your team in a critical situation. Perfect example of it right there. You know, sometimes you get a feeling in a game, Steve, that things like this are going to happen, and you had the sense this was coming. Well, it's not over yet, but this has been some kind of battle between these two clubs. When you get opportunities like this, Gary, you have to cash in. That's what the Cubbies did right there, coming up with the big hit. They've got to have some confidence now. One out, nobody on. Here's Wilson's first look. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Steve, big-time action here. Boy, you talk about a fly ball that brought people to their feet. That one did. Well, that's exactly right. Now the pitching has to be very careful because we've got a brand-new ball game. Strike he two. lets that fastball go by for a called strike, 0-2. Tough spot for the hitter right here, down 0-2. you got to fall off that tough pitch if you have to. Here's the pitch. Ball. That one's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. The one-two pitch. Line fair down the line and right. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. All right, takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact. And he got it. Catcher up to the plate. Well, managers face so many different decisions during the course of a game. And as the game goes on and it's close, those decisions become much more critical to success or failure. Now their rookie catcher at the plate. Hasn't gotten a hit yet today. We'll see what he can do here. Well, this is what you want. You've got speed on first base, tie ball game. You have to do what you can to get him in scoring position. Let's see if they get him going. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 oh, now. Oh. That one is going to miss. Low for a ball, 1-1. Now if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Swing and lined up the middle. And it's in there. Oh, that one did not come too soon for him. He's had a very tough offensive day. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits. And he seems to be continuing it in this one. It's Aramis Ramirez batting. Well, they needed a little extra speed out there to cover the bases, potentially steal a base. Let's see if this added speed pays off. Runners at first and third, one away. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Fastball, just misses, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. 1-0 pitch, a slider in there. 1-1. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Pitch on the way. Sharp bike to that slider. 1-2. and two. Good patience as Ramirez lets that one go by for a ball. The count is even. Ramirez will foul that one away.
He swings, hits a ball to right field. That's the second out. If you're even thinking about it, do not change your channel. Not for this matchup. Struck out swinging his last time up. Well, we're going to take a look here, see if they try to steal the runner from first base. Have some speed over there. We'll see if they try to get two in scoring position. It's fouled on. Wow. Waves at that fastball in the hole now, 0-2. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away, and if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. And here's the delivery. You're Struck out. him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. All knotted up here in Houston. of you just tuning in 2k sports major league baseball this is gary thorne along with steve phillips and john crook now the first pitch Strike swings one. at that fastball and misses 0 and one well that's some kind of pitch and you set up the target on the outside corner and he paints the black with it awfully tough when you have that kind of location on the way this oh. one's grounded near third foul Swings and grounds this one foul, wide a third. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is 0-2, and that's where he sees himself. But give him credit, he's keeping himself alive by fouling off that tough 0-2 pitch on the outside part of the plate. Let's see if he can make the pitcher make a mistake. Well, the velocity getting up to about 89 miles per hour, but pretty straight pitch right there. Osmus at the plate. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. Base is empty with one away. First pitch, here it comes. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. But just a little bit out in front of that fastball on that swing. One one. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at 1. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Strike two. He watches the 1-1 one, one pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Well, that's a hittable pitch right there, Gary. A fastball in the inner part of the plate. But if you're looking out over the plate, sometimes it freezes you. 1-2 pitch coming. Oh, Trying to get him to chase the fastball away, 2-2. Two two. The 2-2. Two -two. Fastball got him two down. Well, the velocity getting up to about 89 miles per hour, but a pretty straight pitch right there. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. Base is empty with two outs. And the first pitch. Strike Watches one. that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. ball one. 
Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, one and one. Here it comes. Oh, fastball two. gets away from him there, two and one. Here's the 2 1. And he lays one down here. Kelly. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. The Cubs 2, Astros 2. The fans are on the edge of their seats, Gary. So am I. Well, we're in the top half of the last inning. This ball game tied up, so the potential go-ahead is up there. Now, this is what you're playing for. You can throw all the scouting reports, oh, everything out the door. It's one against one. Who can win it? And the bottom half of the ninth, one ball count. Now the 1-0 pitch. Right and he looks at a slider that's in there, 1-1. Well, the backdoor breaking ball right there. They set up a way and executed the pitch perfectly. The 1-1 pitch. Lined up the middle. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And, you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Runner on first base, nobody out. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. This is that fastball already 0-2. That fastball up and away, it's awfully tough to catch up with it because you want to try to hit it deeper in the zone and go the other way, and before you know it, it's by you. Here's the pitch. Swing, and that's going to be hit behind the plate. Big breaking ball misses, one and two. The one, two on its way. You're out. Curve ball, got him on away. 81 miles per hour with some solid movement. Oh, he chases the breaking ball for strike three right there. You got to lay off it. And we've got Sandberg batting. He's batting now, late in this game, only one out. And the defense looking for the double play ball. The hitter trying to hit one in the gap. Trying to move that runner around from first. And here's the first one. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. The location and velocity are critical in throwing the fastball. He runs his good fastball up and away right here, and it's a take pitch. The pitch. Slider misses. One ball, one strike. Now if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Missed with the fastball outside. Two and one. The 2-1 pitch. 2-1 pitch is a slider. Taken for a call. Strike two. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball. To the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. He deals. Three and two. Slider just about had him. 3-2 count. Now if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. The 3-2 pitch. Popped way up there behind home plate. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Here's 
Here's the 3 2 pitch. You're out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And Santos is batting. He stands in now with two down. Possible go ahead at first. Well, look for them to be very aggressive on the bases here. Possibly an attempted steal. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the first pitch. Oh. That misses inside. 1-0. At the belt, the 1-0. There's a smash towards the hole. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Two men on and two men out. And here's the first one. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. That one is in there. That should score Williams. That's going to break the tie. They lead by one. They talk about a late inning ball club. They needed a big hit late in the game, in the final inning, and they got it. Clutch hitting, clutch performance. What a team. Hanson gets a turn here. Boy, we have seen this offense building momentum, Steve, and what a time of the ball game to do it. That hit was exactly what they needed in that situation. Now they're up by a run, headed into the night. Runners at second and third with two out. The pitch. Oh! Fastball too low. What a no. This has been a grinded out game, and you get to the ninth inning, you find out where the guys are who can grind it out. And I'll tell you some clutch hitting, clutch pitching, that's what gets it done. The 1 0 now. 1 0 pitches a slider, swung on and missed, 1 1. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider, I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Call fastball, now the count 1 and 2. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. The one-two pitch. Hit in the air to left center. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. The first runs in easily. And right behind him, the second run. Well, that's another insurance run for them right there. And now a little more breathing room as they head to the bottom of the ninth. We'll watch Kelly now as he stands in the box. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is, this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. Well, he didn't miss out on that opportunity, and now that hit cements a three-run lead in the top of the ninth. We've talked about how he's been seeing the ball so well today, and that has continued on here into the late innings. Great Fastball run. is in there. It's 0-1. Uh, that kind of hit has him feeling good, and look for that to continue into future games. It'll be a W. And here's the delivery. Swing and a rocket toward short. Number 14. Throws to first side is retired. 24 pitches to get through that inning. Won't go very deep in a game that way. Cubs jump ahead in this one. Top of the lineup coming up. Biggio up now. He's had one hit four times up. First pitch on the way. Line shot into center field. And that gets through for a base hit. 
Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. Now their rookie center fielder. He bounced out his last time. their center fielder at the plate. Hasn't had much success yet in this game. He's hoping to get something this time. The runner on first, no out. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Trying to get the ground ball out, you throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. The pitch. 2-0 pitch. A fastball taken for a strike. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You'll want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. 2-1 pitch. Strike Lays two. off that fastball. It's a call strike. 2-2. Two two. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball. Pounding the strike zone. You're Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. That's a hard-biting curveball right there with great break. Awfully tough to put in play. Swung right through it. Bagwell is the batter now. Grounded out last time. Couple of hits, four trips to the plate. One out, runner on at first. First pitch, and Marmol not able to find the zone. Here's the 1 0. Line drive, that's foul towards first. The 1-1. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Two away. And he'll go back to first. Well, he hit this one well, but it hangs up long enough to give the left fielder just enough time to run underneath and make the catch. And here's Lance Berkman. 11 career ABs. Two hits off Carlos Marmol. Two outs and a man on first. First one to Berkman. Here's the pitch. Starts him off with a pitch on the outside corner. Strike one. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary. Hitting his spots and with great velocity. And the 0-1 by Marmol. He swings and nails a liner. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. The offense got it done on the top, and the pitching got it done on the bottom half. And celebration as they head back to the clubhouse. Now let's take a look back on this ball game and uh, see who our player of the game is. Well, it just seems funny that every time you need a big hit, it seems like the middle of the lineup happens to be up. And that's what happened in this game today. The third hitter came up with that big hit to help his team to the victory.
And Steve, they're able to put this one away in the record books. It's a good victory. Hey, anytime you can go on the road and beat another Major League team, you've got to consider yourself fortunate. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.